Good morning. We're out on the lake fishing again. We were going to the river this morning, but the road was closed. The sheriff was parked across the road. Said road was closed, so we just came back to the, the sun just came up over the mountain. Um, so we came back to the lake. So we got on the road at 10 after 6 this morning. We wanted to get out there early and then we had to detour and come back but anyway our hooks are in the water boy that sun it is bright no saying look there's a horny toad your little baby you just look Sammy well, we're leaving this area here. There was <clears throat> not a bite. It started getting cloudy and windy and chilly. I was getting cold. So we're going to go try to find some place else to fish. So, there's Sammy. You ready? All right, let's do it. So we have, once again, changed to another location. We've tried the river um down on down the other the, down by the river down by the dam <laughs> down by the dam no luck there it was moving and now we're back to the um rio grande river and gosh it's like glass the fish are flopping they're just not <laughs> they're just not coming and getting on our line look how calm it is Last time I was filming and said how calm it was, Deborah caught a fish, so I'm trying to make that happen again. So we are at Percha Dam State Park. They opened the dam, started letting water through yesterday. We were here. That was not open. And there was no water in this creek, so the creek's filling up now. But we were expecting a bigger <laughs> when they said be ready when they open that the fishing's gonna be good but I don't think the fishing's so good right now. It's very shallow. Maybe in a few days. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be good fishing for a while. Look, Jenna. Catfish! Look, he's stuck! Yeah, I see him. Ah! Is that a cat? I don't know. Might be a trout. That might be the one I saw fall over. It's not deep enough for him. He needs help. Well. I, I, I should go get my fishing rod. Fish rod. <laughs> he needs help. Yeah, so he's sitting on bottom. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, my God. Okay. There's another one right there. Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting my rod. <laughs> They're sitting right there, but you're going to go get your rod? <laughs> Let's go, she says. There's three just sitting there. Come on. Come on. That's why I'm thinking down there is going to be pretty good. There you go, dude. So as I mentioned earlier, they opened the dam and we stayed down there a little bit and fished, but then we came down here. There's some trees. 
really nice. It's kind of deep right here. The wind's going to start blowing now. But in my last fishing video, I had a request of more, more about fishing. Uh, not really a tutorial, but this is about the simplest you can get. And it's kind of shallow, so I have this. Um, I'm going to have to turn this off because of the wind. But I have a hook and a worm. Some of the worm's gone because I've been on the bottom until you figure out the depth. One little weight and then a bobber on top. Now what I'm doing is I'm fishing from here and it's floating downstream. Then I pull it back in and then do it again. So I just try to get just this side of the trees and obviously don't get in the trees. And lock it. And this is kind of hard to show, but you want to keep your line tight in case you do get a bite. So I can't really show that because I can't reel and film at the same time. So that's pretty basic right there. But you just want your line and your rod to follow. And this is when the river's moving. So sometimes uh, the river's not moving. And your bobber just sits there, like at the at the Rio Grande where we're at. Hello. <laughs> well, we've been here a few hours. When we got here this morning, if you go back and look at that clip, or I'll show you a picture of it, both of these were overflowing the top. This one now is not overflowing, so not letting in a whole lot of water. It was coming over the top. Now it's just coming down, so not as much coming in now as it was earlier. <laughs>